control systems go. You are clear for takeoff. Your country owes you a debt of gratitude, Dr. Zizzle. The Interloper 2 is a breakthrough in remote security technology, a tribute to your creative genius. Turning my artificial intelligence designs into a common spy robot is not a tribute to me, Agent Graves. It's an insult. I designed and built I2 to help mankind, not spy on it. By helping the agency, you are helping mankind, Doctor. Besides, it was the agency that paid for you to build your little computerized ambulatory artificial intelligence robot, and they've decided to insert I2 into a certain unfriendly country where it will retrieve sensitive information then return to the agency for debriefing. I'm not a violent man, but if I were, why I'd, 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 oh, I don't know what I'd do, but it would be violent. Matt. Will you stop that constant drumming? It's making me crazy! <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <sighs> now I have to make another egg. Hello? We're stuck in Peoria? I had a great job in Manhattan. Do you know how long it took me to become a respected record producer? Well, do you? Seven, Seven years. years. But, Mom, didn't you do this so Daddy could follow his dreams? Oh, Maxie, you guys know I love you more than anything. I'm just frustrated. It's taken your father so long to succeed, that's all. Dad promised he'd be a famous DJ someday. Yeah, like he promised he'd showcase our band on the radio? How are we ever going to become rock stars if our own dad won't give us a break? He will, honey. <laughs> This is WZIZ-FM, 440, the biggest little station in Peoria. It's 7 a.m. Do you know where your weather is? It's right over your heads. And to tell you all about it is uh, WZIZ's top-notch meteorologist, Bobby McBreeze. Hey, Tim. It's another beautiful day. Perfect weather for listening to the radio and watching the corn grow. Skies are clear with four mile an hour winds from the northeast. Skies are clear with four mile an hour winds from the northeast. Yes, it's hot outside, Tim. Whew! Tell me all about it, Bobby. <laughs> and speaking of hot, here's a hot little tune from the local punk band Heavy Huskers called Shredded Wheat. WZIZ, rockers, headbangers, and groovalicious crackalack and disco swinging corn husking music lovers. We've got your sounds. Uh huh. Uh, okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, Norm, who is that? Our only listener, Mrs. Yoder. She said she tossed her radio. She'd rather listen to corn grow. Have you any idea who you're talking to? I'm Pinky Crushman, owner of the biggest media network in the world. Now, here's the deal, you little maggot. I'm buying your dinky TV station for cents on the dollar. Oh, a pleasure doing business with you. What do you want, Junior? Uh, it's about that radio station you want to buy, WZIZ. All right, how's that going? Really well, sir. Here's my surveillance montage. The owner, Tim Franklin, a real loser, has been trying for months to get his ratings up with no success. He's even tried breaking local bands to get more young listeners, but the results have been dismal. And to make things even worse for Franklin, I paid a visit to his advertisers who have yanked their ads. Not bad. Keep it up, Junior. And one day, this empire will be yours. I was hoping you'd say that, Daddy. I won't let you down. <laughs> Again. Of course you won't. Because if you do, you'll be lucky to be head janitor. Put it 
out. Use a fire extinguisher. Negative. I lost the lenticle. The bird is dead. Repeat. The bird is dead. I'm gonna attack. Oh, no. Graved, you've got to jettison I do. Have you lost your mind? We can't have this top-secret technology fall into the hands of the enemy. But the jet is going to crash. It'll be destroyed. Thirty-seven and a half years of my life's work and a piece of my soul up in flames. I've got to save him. You fool. Jettisoning the payload won't do you any good. I control the remote destruction device. Agent Graves, don't! It didn't work. My boy is safe. Get a fix on his impact point. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. I see. Alert the extraction squad. We're going to Peoria. <laughs> Silvira, I'm the lead. You're the rhythm. I'm the lead. <laughs> not in my band. It's not your band. It's our band. Enough! Look, I spent years in the city working with new bands just like yours. You guys are pretty good. But if you can't get your personal vibes together, you're never going to get your musical vibes together. Mission command. Requesting deployment command. Cannot detect target. Coordinates not matching directive. Mission command. Do you copy? Switching to emergency program. Field intelligence operation activated. Commencing data gathering. Darn dust. Gets into everything. Well, shut my horn. Why at all? Giant alien riding in the corn. Corn circles, I mean crop circles, I mean there's an alien message in the cornfield. What's the matter with you? Are you listening to me? Good gravy. He's had a close encounter. 
They sucked out his brain and zombified him. They want an encounter. I'll give them an encounter. Oh, yeah. And here's one of my favorite tunes by the Off Keysters called <clears throat> Allergic to Love. <clears throat> In the booth. Good morning, loser. And Mr. Franklin, I brought the contract. Don't look so glum. I brought a certified check as well. But this is half of the deal. Expenses. There's your overdue bills, title transfer, equipment removal, rewiring, the loser vacation. It's all right there in the fine print. That's not enough to move back to Manhattan. What am I going to tell Paula and the kids? Not my problem, Franklin. Unidentified target encountered. Initiating recon mode. You can't hide from me, you brain-sucking alien. Irma McNutty is on your butt! Target unfriendly. Activating defense mode. Target neutralized. Continuing recon. Switching to radio frequency mode. Unknown radio signals acquired. Commencing data gathering. Busy day. Encountering unintelligent life form. No threat. to become rat salsa. Uh, ah! Gotcha, huh? <coughs> what the? Ah! Ah! Come on, you, ah! you can use my daddy's solid gold pen. Oh! Yeah! If this is some kind of trick to get out of my deal, Franklin, it won't work. Whoa! Subhuman category B, spinalless, weaselless. What the? <laughs> Take that, you bot headed freak! <sighs> Wowzer, yeah, ooh, ooh, yeah! What's it doing? <laughs> Whoa, he's downloading our entire music and sound effects library. WZIC. Hey, all you rockers, headbangers, and groove delicious cracker lacking, disco swinging, corn husking music lovers, we've got your sounds. This is Sizzling WZIZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZ
Really? WZIZ? You think so? I, I think I got them stopped! They love our new DJ! <laughs> We got your sounds for the whole day through. Wake up and smell the job. And now a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Paid for by the Paola Cola Company. We've never had listeners react like this. Well, come to think of it, we've never had listeners. It took me seven years to become a mediocre DJ. Actually, a, a cruddy DJ. And it took this thing 30 seconds. And it's great. And if you don't sign this contract in the next five seconds, you can declare bankruptcy for all I care. Uh... Hey, Tim, every line is ringing. What should I do? That means more listeners, which means more ad dollars, which means I don't have to sell. What? You'll sell, Franklin, or you know what I'll do? I'll, no, I'll tell my daddy. Uh... Oh! Pound it, my man. That little green dude just saved your radio station. Which saved my job, which means I don't have to go to military school. Sweet. No 411 on his 20. This should be a quick and clean operation. This is WCIZ FM. Shut it down, packing it in, and putting on the dog. Can't you all the fits out? You're not going to believe what happened at the station today. This amazing little guy wandered in, well, flew in. The most incredible DJ you've ever heard. I know. The phone's been ringing all day. People are actually listening to WZIZ. Everyone is. So, tell me about him. Where did this guy come from? Well, he's not really a guy. That was a woman? I don't know what he is. Maybe you can figure it out. <sighs> Thought you'd never let me out. Lee, that's some steak. Somebody needs some honeysuckle air freshener. Yeah. What exactly are you? What am I? Don't be silly. Even the unintelligent life form at the station knows I'm a. Uh, I give up. What am I? It doesn't matter. What is important is that I didn't have to sign Crushman's contract. We're keeping the station. Oh, joy of joys. We're staying in Peoria longer. The kids will be thrilled. If the listener numbers keep going up, we could sell the station for ten times what Crushman is offering. We'll have enough to go back to the city where I can get a real DJ job, and you can go back to music producing. Oh, Tim, that's wonderful. <laughs> Huh? Popcorn, no! Initiating self-defense mode. No popcorn! Not the toy! Leave it! Popcorn! Down! Down! Are you alright? Um, I don't know. Hey, am I a chew toy? <laughs> no, you're not a chew toy. Phew! That's a relief. Cause this slobber is disgusting! Oh, yeah. Hmm, I wonder... He wiggles his ears. He twitches his nose. He wags his tail. Case closed, I'm a dog! I love that! 
Oh yeah! That's some guitar, baby! Cool! He can play with us! Let's do it. tell you is you really have soul did you say I have a soul it's a music term it means you really got something special oh he doesn't have a soul he's got a microchip lighten up Lucas whatever he's got it's good I think he should be our new lead no way I'm the lead but is is better Vera yeah we'll let him play then I quit <laughs> he's just jealous He'll come back. Maybe. But I work with many young artists, Vera, and I've seen bands fall apart over a lot less. You kids might really have something special now. Is could be just the thing to make all our dreams come true. But without Lucas, there's no band. Now go talk to him. Dad! Your mother's right, Vera. Oh! You can live with us now. We're gonna take good care of you. It's so cool you're here. It's really great to have a friend that I can talk to. Cause Vera and Lucas, well, they ignore me and they're all teened out. What are you doing, Iz? Still listening. I'm a multitasker with dual processors. Cool! Max, I like having a friend too. I've never had a friend before that I could remember. Dude, we can be soulmates! I can't. Why not? Lucas said microchips don't have souls. Well, Lucas doesn't have a brain. Really? You mean a microchip might really have a soul? Hey, this toaster has a chip. And she's cute, too. What do you say, darling? We can be the toast of the town. Uh, what's the use? I'm just another soulless machine. Cheer up. Mom and I think you've got soul. What's the matter, Vera? 
Lucas can be such a jerk. I'm all ears. But he's not, really. I mean, he's got a good heart. Underneath his jerkiness. If he wasn't so cute and such a good musician, I'd tell him to beat it. You know, he can be so narrow-minded. Yeah, but then so again, I'm such a good musician. Can go I tell on him on about him. nothing. And so he's he's like such a you know what I mean? Ah, for the first time in years, I got hope again, Tim. The kids' band has really come together with the help of Iz. The station's got more listeners. I, I think we got a real chance of making it this time. Keep your fingers crossed, Paula. That little Iz dude might just be the answer to our dreams. Great idea. Okay, everybody listen up. I'm going to debut the kids' band on WZIZ this afternoon. Finally! Awesome. Now all we need is a name for the band. I know, I know. Max and the Maximums. Zizzle! That's sweet. Listen, Runt, we're not naming it after you. What about Vera and the Vibes? Zizzle! I like that name. That's it. Is and the Zizzles. Yeah, it's perfect. Is in the zizzles. Hey, I like it. Oh. <laughs> huh? Who goes there? You want some of the nutty? Bring it on, alien. Suck out my brain, will ya? Not on my watch! Eat Corn Ryan! Choke! You called 911? It's about time you showed up! Wait a minute. I thought you said I was a few cans short of a six pack, and if I called back a ninth time, you'd send out the men in the white coats. That was the local authorities, strictly minor leagues. I'm with the big boys. In the cornfield. Follow me, boys. I've secured the perimeter. Perp is somewhere in this area. Stay behind me. Did you get a positive visual ID on who desecrated our nation's corn supply? Sam? He practically sucked my face off. He's just lucky I didn't finish my learn kickboxing at home course. Ma'am, the country needs more patriots like you. I'm going out, Mom. Don't know if I'll be back for dinner. Identify yourself, civilian. That's my son, Lucas. What's in the case, young man? My guitar. I'm a musician. Thinks he's gonna be a rock star. I am. I'm going to the radio station to debut my new band, Is and the Zizzles. Not so fast. Did you say Zizzle? Zizzles. I think it's a sucky name, too, but it wasn't my decision. Who's in this band of yours? I want names. Stat! Me, Vera and Max Franklin, and this little noisy talking gizmo. About 11 inches tall, green, with big eyes and a flicker on his head? That's him! That's him! Lucas should have been here 20 minutes ago. Sorry I'm late. Got, uh, got held up. This is WZIZ-FM with the hottest new band to hit Corntown, Iz and the Zizzles.
and the zizzles are the next hottest thing, uh, call now. Uh, Norm, any calls? I knew it. They hated us. Crushman, what are you doing here? I'm doing my civic duty, Franklin. You haven't paid your power bill in two months, so I urge the power company to shut you down. No one in Radioland has even heard your stupid song. Well, you are going to hear from my lawyer. <sighs> Don't bother. Daddy owns the cell phone company, too. I had your account canceled. Now sign it! That's half of what it was yesterday. That was then, and this is now. And now your time is up. And Daddy will be so proud of me. Paula, what are we gonna do? Crushman's just too powerful to fight. <sighs> We've lost. <sighs> Freeze! <laughs> Nobody move. The robot is government property. It's coming with us. You talking to me? You must be talking to me, because there's no other robots here. Say hello to my little friend. Yes. Everyone out. Move it. So much for Peoria being gory. Get out here. I confess. I didn't get permission from the FCC. I'll turn the power back on, I promise. Forget about the power. Where are your compadres and that stolen robot, punk? Um, that way? To the choppers and hurry! Who are you? What do you want with us? My name is Dr. Zizzle. Zizzle? I designed I to. Who that? I too? Y you mean is? He's an artificial intelligence robot, the first of his kind. A brand new technology. And I'm the father of that technology. Father? He's just a blabbering microchip. I have to correct you there, young man. He's so technologically advanced that he really does think and feel. I'm sorry, Iz. I never intended for you to be used this way. I'd always hoped you might benefit all mankind. Stop the vehicle! I used to think my mom was nutty till I met that guy, Graves. You met Agent Graves? Lucas, what did you do? Okay, I told them where to find Iz. So what? They would have caught up with him anyway. It's over. We've lost the station, your music career, the kids' band, and Iz. You traitor! How could you do this? I've been stuck in this corn shucking town for 17 years. He promised if I told him everything, he'd make me famous. And I'd finally get out. I'm afraid Graves lied to you, son. Project I-2 is top secret. None of this will ever reach the media. Don't ever talk to me again. Sizzle! That's it! Hey, kid! What? What do you want? I know how to make everyone's dreams come true. And if you're to forgive you, here's all you have to do. Dude, maybe you really are more than a microchip. Listen up, I know how to fix everything. You've already fixed everything. No, no. I mean, you can get your station back, and we can debut the band, and say this at the same time. All you have to do is agree to sell WZIZ to that Crushman dude. How's that going to change anything? Trust me, Mr. Franklin. Just tell them to meet us at the Crossman TV station in Peoria. And not to let anyone else in but us. How can we trust him? Well, we've got nothing else to lose. Here we are. Step aside, civilians. 
Mr. Crushman, I'm here to sign. I'm glad you finally came to your senses, Franklin. Let's get this over with. On one condition. Condition? You didn't say anything about conditions. Well, I'm saying it now. I want you to debut the kids' band on national TV. And when the song's over, I'll sign the contract so the whole world can see. Yes. So the whole world can see. See Junior Crushman close the deal. Oh, Daddy will be so proud. This is Tim Franklin, your rockin' sockin' DJ from WZIZ-FM, the biggest little radio station in Peoria. Rockers, headbangers, and groovalicious crack a lack and disco swingin' corn huskin' music lovers, we've got your sounds! Uh, okay, let's cut the DJ jive and get to the good stuff. I want to introduce a great new band. It's Iz and the Zizzles! <laughs> No one move. This is an internal security matter now. You are all under arrest for harboring a fugitive. Everyone will be detained indefinitely for debriefing. Agent Graves, please let him go. He's harmless. He's agency property and no concern of yours any longer. You'll never see him again. We'll see about that. You're on, dude. Please, everyone out there watching, listen to me. My name is Dr. Eugene Zizzle. I created Iz for the benefit of all humankind, not to have him held captive by some government agency. I beg you, speak out. Save Iz. Demand that the agency free him. He deserves the same rights as the rest of us. <sighs> Now that came out of my flip side. Your little fiasco is over, Doctor. I'm taking I-2 back to the agency. The only thing you've accomplished is to prove your unpatriotismness. Hello? Uh, okay, thanks. Hello? Miami, all right. Hello? Washington, really? Okay. People are calling from across the nation, Graves. They're really ticked off that your agency is oppressing a defenseless little digital doohickey. Well, that's just too bad. Let them go cry to their mommies. I take my orders from a higher power. The A number one, the big cheese, the top dog, the president. Ah, funny you should say that. Actually, the president wants to speak to you. Sir, yes sir. Commander in chief, sir. Special Agent Graves at your service. Yes, sir. Of course, of course, sir. I understand, sir. Brilliant, sir. He's a free... whatever you call it. There's a call for you, Mrs. Franklin. Hello? Yeah, Mr. Capella? That's great news! Thanks! Who was that? It was the head of the record company I used to work for. He just saw the Zizzles and wants to sign him for a three-record deal. And he wants me to be their rep! Mwah! Now hear this. I've got sound. 
Oh. 